Today I'm going over something that I did not expect to have. DFG Off-Road got a hold of me last week and they said they had a new shower enclosure out and he was going to send me one. I didn't pay for this, but I also don't need one of these because I have the quick pitch on my FJ. Uh, this is an unbiased review. I have had the DFG Off-Road fridge slider for three or four years now and I've had nothing but good experiences with that and I was one of his first customers back then. I got it a few days ago. I hadn't opened it up yet. Um, I had come up with different ways to mount it to the black FJ and and then when I opened the package, I was surprised to see that it actually comes with mounting hardware. Uh, it comes with the bolts, it comes with seven stakes, it comes with this bar, which I'm not sure what this is for, so that's interesting. And then it comes with uh, basically the same type of brackets a rooftop tent uses to mount. And it also comes with a couple wrenches, a 13 and a 10, and this is a ratcheting 13 millimeter. I don't know if this is a bonus for me or if this comes with all of them. It was packaged like it came with everything. And it also comes with a bag to put the stakes in when you're done. That's what everything, all the parts come in. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna put it on the black FJ because it's not gonna take long to put on or take off. Before I had AluCab, I had an ARB awning and it didn't come with any mounting hardware. My AluCab didn't come with mounting hardware and I bought that and the tent together. You'd think when you do a package deal, they would kind of include that, but those were a couple hundred bucks. I also have the quick pitch shower tent and it didn't come with any mounting hardware. So to see something come with mounting hardware is definitely a bonus. I'm not sure if this is gonna work for a Baja rack style rack because I don't have, on the Baja racks, they have, they have bars that go from front to back, but it's way in the middle. So this isn't gonna reach it. So I'm gonna have to come up with kind of a creative way to get this to work correctly. But for the sake of this video, it might be a little loose on there. These are sufficient for most roof racks, I think, but for my situation, it's not gonna work, unfortunately. All right, I have not opened this. I haven't unzipped this thing yet. I haven't checked it out. The exterior finish, this is like a tarp material like you see on most awnings. It looks durable. I like truck tarp material. This is like what Blue Ridge Overland makes their, their trash bags out of. The stuff will last forever. The mounting on the back of this is just like a, uh, like just like a typical awning you'd see. So you have your bolts and you just slide that over, you know, pretty simple. Installation on this, I don't imagine is gonna take more than 20 minutes, especially because it comes with a ratcheting wrench. These will mount like a tent. The bolts go through here and it basically pinches down and holds it to the roof rack. I'm not gonna record myself installing this, but I'll keep track of the time and how long it takes to install it. Because of the way I rigged this up, it's a little flimsier than it should be. It will not be that way when it's permanently installed. But for the sake of this video, I just threw it on top. I only used the tools that came with the kit. I didn't open my toolbox at all to install this. I didn't use an electric ratchet or anything. It took me about 20 minutes. And part of that time was just because I had to work under the tent. If, uh, if the tent wasn't installed on here right now, that would have been a lot easier. That black material looks really good. This matches AluCab. This matches some of the other brands out there. All right, so these have some buckles in here. All right. And then that rolls down. I do like the black color. And so it looks like here, instead of going with Velcro, he did everything with buckles. So then that, oh, cool. That's pretty neat. All right. It's bigger. Okay, so you might see these arms right here hanging down lower than they should be. Of course, it's because of my poor mounting on this. All right, I'm gonna tighten this up to get it up off the ground a little bit. I'm immediately noticing this is much bigger than my quick pitch model is. Okay, so we have a reflective material on the inside. It'll bounce light around. It makes it easier to see when you're cleaning yourself, which is pretty nice. Okay, so this does have a LED strip built into it. It looks green on here, but this is actually white light and it has a diffuser. It looks like it's Velcroed so it's removable. And the cable for this is just USB, so I've got a little jackery hooked up, and I would say that cable's about 10 feet long. So what he does have in here that I really like is it has a place to put like bottles of soap and your sponge or whatever you're using, a loofah, and you can cover it if you don't want it to get wet. It looks like this is the same material as the actual shower tent, so I assume that if you needed something to stay dry, you could put it in here too. Like if you, like I use pack towels, actually, now that I'm thinking of this, I can put my towel in here and then you have the opposite. You have something, this is probably where you'd put your soaps and then all the water can drain off when you let it dry out. So that's pretty neat. So you can stake this down, it looks like. Stake it down to the ground so it makes it easy, easy to zip and unzip. 
and then you can get into your vehicle. I didn't really like that this had a full zipper when I first saw this. The quick pitch has one that comes down and around like a window space, but this one has a full zipper and to get into the cab is a little more difficult, but the reason I get into the cab so often is because there's nowhere to put your soap on the quick pitch one. This one has a place for your towel or your clothes. If you want to put your clothes in there, that should keep them protected and keep them from getting wet. This holds your soaps. And so I shouldn't need to get into the cab. So I don't think the window matters on this. But what I do like about the zipper is that a lot of times when we have this down, I can't get into the cab and I have to roll it up on the quick pitch model to get back into the cab if I want to grab something. So I actually think that I like that better because just being able to, and on mine, it'll be a little sturdier. Yeah, I can actually open the door. So, okay. I didn't know how I felt about that at first. I actually like it. All right, I found where the rod goes. The rod goes above it through this channel. And so you have a place to hang a shower head or a hose, which is really nice because I use a, I use a garden hose on mine. And so I normally have to hang it over here on one of the side rails on the other shower tent, and this will actually hold it. And so if you rig it on, you can actually have a shower that keeps going. This should be fine for holding like a garden hose or a water port hose or something like that. So this one actually has locking arms, which is cool. I didn't realize that. And there's a push button mechanism. So if you do have it staked out and you have it locked in place, it's not going to be folded in half when you get back if it's windy. And so you have to worry about it less. I do like that. There's a metal rod going through the top here to keep the, ri the rigidity while you're using it. So I was trying to figure out how to bend this to get it to fold up right, but you just push it in and it kind of does its own thing. When you pull this, the whole tent just pops open. And the bottom has a bar in it too. So that'll straighten itself out pretty quick. Let's see how long this thing takes to put back up. I don't have the light cable rolled up yet. And of course the cable's optional and I have the shower rod installed right now. So I'm just gonna see how long it takes for this thing to be broken down. All right, so I'm quite positive this shower, the rod for the shower, which is optional, um, it won't fit inside the bag. So now that I'm not putting the wiring away, and I'm not fiddling around with the shower rod. Let's see how quick this thing is. I think I can speed that process up once I get used to this thing. It's a little bit different than my other one. So it's taking me a minute longer to set up. I like how they put the metal rods inside the top and bottom so it kind of locks open and flips out on its own somewhat whenever you do set it up. And then that same process helps break it down a little bit faster. This shower enclosure is $239 with free shipping. You're getting an LED, you're getting a shower enclosure. Your wife will thank you. This is bigger than the other one that I have. It's a quick setup and it's got a nice case. This is, this is where most of the wear is gonna come from. So this thing looks pretty durable for $239. If you're a person that spends a lot of time at a beach or a lake, this is something that's really nice to have. It's nice to be able to rinse off and it's also nice to be able to set up and change really quick. These shower tents are handier and you might think they are. You know, a lot of people will be like, why the hell would I not just change my vehicle? I'm six foot one, it's hard to change inside of one of these things. This makes it a lot easier, I prefer standing up. Of course, I use it for showers, mostly that's what I use it for. It's also a good place to put a portable toilet in an area like Moab where you're required to carry something like that. So then you have basically a bathroom on one side of your vehicle and you can change, your wife can change, whoever needs to use it, it is really nice. Whenever we're in a group, I tell everybody you're welcome to use that thing and they can go set up. I do like that this one has the center zip. This one looks better. The, on the outside, this looks significantly better than my other shower tent does. It goes really well with 
my Alucab tent with a black tent. This looks great. I do like the finish. All right, well, thanks DFG Off-Road for sending me this. This is gonna be cool to check out. Uh, winter's moving in here in Colorado. I don't know when I'm actually gonna be able to use this because of the time of the year. So if you guys have been looking for a shower room, you don't wanna quite spend that much money, um, this is probably one of the best options you're gonna find in my opinion. I haven't tested them all, but I'm pretty impressed with, with what this is for 230 bucks. The Alucab is like $700. The quick pitch one, I think I paid close to 400 for it. This is 239 bucks. This is pretty awesome. You can mount this to the side of your tent, the side of your roof rack, uh, your camper trailer. If you have any questions on this, let me know in the comments below. So that's my overview of the DFG Off-Road Shower Enclosure. I think it's pretty much the best you're gonna get for this price range. All right, guys, if you found this useful, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out.